Hello, this video on bank management shows how the maturity mismatch between bank assets and liabilities affects profitability when interest rates change. As a reminder, interest rate risk is the risk of a negative impact of interest rate changes on both the value of assets as well as on income. With respect to valuation, and as you learned in corporate finance, when interest rates rise, bond values as well as those of other interest-bearing instruments um, fall. And it goes the other way around too, except that the fear factor here is that interest rates are going to go up and then the value of our bond will drop. For banks, and depending on the asset liability structure, a change in interest rates may adversely affect their net interest income which is the spread between how much they earn and how much they pay out. But more importantly, the mismatch between the maturities of bank assets and liabilities creates a distinct interest rate risk exposure for both interest income and net worth, which is the value of their assets. And I'm going to demonstrate this in a subsequent video. For banks, the two types of interest rate risks are income risk and investment risk. Income risk is the risk that a change in the lending and borrowing rates will result in a decline in net interest income, while investment risk is the risk that a rise in interest rates will lead to a decline in net worth. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how interest rate changes affect net interest income which is so defined expressed as a percent of interest earning assets we call it a net interest uh, margin in this first example we we'll look at the case of refinancing risk and examine the income effect of interest rate changes when assets have a longer maturity than liabilities so in this first example the bank borrows a hundred million at 5% for one year and then turns around and invests the money in a business loan at the higher rate of 6%. So you can see right here the spread is 1%. Now though, the kicker here is that the, the loan, this investment, is for two years. So we have a maturity mismatch, right? The, the liability here is uh, one year and investment here is two years. Nevertheless, we know that the interest rate spread in the first year is 1%, which uh, tells us that we can expect to earn a million dollars in the first year. And you can also calculate that uh, individually, the uh, costs, which is 5 million, and the income, which is um, 6 million. The difference is a million right here. But the issue here, though, is that we don't really know what's gonna, how year two is going to shake out. So let's kind of examine that on spreadsheets all right, and see what we got right here. So this is the situation right here. This is the loan at 5% for one year. And this is uh, the investment right here at uh, 6%, but for two years. So that's the issue right here. So we know that in the first year, we're going to make a million. Now the question though is what happens in the second year? So in the second year, if the borrowing rate remains at 5%, I go back here, 5% in the first in year one, and if it stays at 5% in year two, then we're gonna make another million dollars, and uh, which would make our cumulative profit for two years to be two. But that is if this borrowing rate, if we are able to refinance at the same interest rate, what if this rate were to go up in the second year? Matter of fact, let's, let's determine what the break-even interest rate is going to be, borrowing rate is going to be in the second year. The, the, the break-even rate is going to be that rate that will cause our cumulative income for the two-year period to be zero. So to do so, we're going to go to data and use what if and, and do a what if analysis go to goal seek and we want this guy right here all right to be equal to zero and we're going to find that out by changing this borrowing rate right here right okay and okay there you go it's seven percent telling us that if we wind up borrowing at a rate above seven percent our cumulative income here is going to be in the negative. So right now at 7%, it 
in the second year we're gonna lose a million but matched with a million we made in the first year our cumulative income for the two-year period is gonna be zero now if this guy right here is above seven let's say seven point three all right so you can see we are now in the negative territory so well uh, so the bank is definitely hurting if on the other hand this guy here is some rate below 7%, say 6.21%. Then, although there is some loss in the second year, but combined with the million we made in the first year, we still are in the positive territory, so we have our head above water. So now, in this second example, we examine the case of reinvestment uh, risk, which occurs when liabilities have a longer maturity than assets. So in this example, the bank borrows a hundred million at a fixed interest rate of five percent for three years. And then the bank turns around and uses the funds to make a variable rate loan for a year at five and a half percent as you can see right here, right? For one year. So again we have a maturity mismatch right here. But except that in this case liability has a longer uh, has the longer maturity so anyhow based on how things are in this first year the bank is going to make a gain of 0.5 all right which is uh, the difference between the interests paid of five and the interest received of five and a half now if going into year two interest rates uh, fall then net interest uh, income will fall and we're talking about the earning rates, right? So it's gonna fall. Right now though, if it stays the same at five and a half percent right here in the sec in the second year. If it stays the same at five and a half percent, we're gonna make another 0.5 million right here. And combined with what we made in the first year, our cumulative profit over the two year period is gonna be one million. Now though, if this guy here, the earning rates were to go down to let's say four percent. Uh oh, we're going to be losing a million right here, which of course is more than what we made in the first year, bringing our cumulative loss here to be negative 0.5. Question, what's the break-even um, earning rate? So let's do another what if, right? So let's go here to go to data and then what if, go seek. Let's click on this cumulative profit cell and set it to zero by changing this guy right here the earning rates which is the floating rate right there so okay and okay so at 4.5 percent we're gonna lose exactly how much we would have made in the first year bringing our cumulative profit to zero the financial moral of this story so to speak is if we wind up earning any rate above 4.5 percent such as 4.8 percent even though there may be a loss here in the second year, but cumulatively speaking, we still are in the positive territory. So the fact is that any rate above 4.5%, we should be fine. If it comes out to a rate less than 4.5%, that's not going to be cool. And that's a wrap.